Hi, I uh, recently upgraded my uh, solar energy system by adding uh, another 55 watt panel. Uh, that's the panel to the far left. The one that is right next to it is supposed to be 60 watts. And then there is this black one in the, on the right hand side that's uh, 15 watts. And then I have this homemade one that's 60 watts. And then there is this broken cell panel that's about 10, 13 watts. Okay, um, let's see uh, this uh, homemade panel that I made about uh, six months ago. Uh, it's holding up actually very well. Uh, the cells are actually uh, in pristine condition. The frame is holding out very well. I used uh, some uh, steel studs to, to frame it. And in the back I used uh, some tar paper to uh, keep the moisture out. And uh, it's actually holding up very well. Uh, I don't leave it on the floor. I don't leave it on the ground. So uh, there isn't any uh, moisture that can be sucked up uh, from the bottom of the panel. Uh, this broken cell one is uh, it's okay. I, let, I leave it on the ground so uh, when you have heavy rain the wood would soak up a bit of the moisture. So that's to be expected. But otherwise it's holding up uh, okay. No uh, rust or anything. Now, this is the panel that I have just uh, added to the system. This is, I think, a 55 watt. And uh, it's supposed to be uh, UL listed. Uh, it's uh, available on eBay, and I think it's about $160 or so. Same thing for this one. This one is supposed to be a 60 watt. And then I have this 15 watts, which is the Sun Force. And I actually use this one to charge my solar battery. The others I use uh, to grid tie. And all these panels, I combine it uh, with this uh, combiner breaker. Uh, there are four uh, circuit breakers. There are actually two circuit breakers in tandem. And it can... Uh, it can control four solar panels. I can switch each of them on and off uh, as necessary. And back here in the garage is where my control panel is. And I have actually made, made a downgrade. I have swapped the uh, 500 watt DC to AC inverter and I change it over to a cheap uh, Cobra 400 watts. It's actually working very well. Um, the reason I changed over was because this uh, uh, 500 watt one wasn't working somehow. I grounded it but uh, it was tripping. Uh, maybe the ground fault uh, circuit uh, is, is uh, giving me the problem. Maybe there's a short in the um, inverter I don't know but uh, this Cobra is very quiet it doesn't really start up until there's a load on it which is very good because it wouldn't come on until you're actually using it and it's less than thirty dollars so in here I have uh, the grid tie and then I have uh, this this circuit breaker box here that controls the uh, input from the solar panels I can charge my battery um, with all the four solar panels. I would probably overcharge it uh, very quickly. Um, I usually just use the 15 watt to charge it because I just have a 10 amp uh, solar charger. It wouldn't be able to handle close to 200 watts of uh, power. So even with the 15 watts, uh, the battery is very quickly charge. Um, I disconnected the cooling fan today because it's pretty cool 
and this when I disconnect that external fan it gives me about two watts more uh, in uh, in power so right now I have about uh, 94 watts into the grid tie uh, which is about what you would get uh, I think uh, with these inexpensive grid tie inverters you get about half of what you put in um, Otherwise, the system works out very well. I have backup power. Uh, I use it to uh, power my uh, LED lights and they are working very well, no problem. Nothing burned out. Um, so, um, that's it for now.